Hello friends. So in this video, we will be discussing about the difference between microprocessor and microcontroller. So what is a microprocessor? Microprocessor is a device which processes the information. The microprocessor is a word which is a combination of two words, micro and processor. Micro is nothing but is fabricated on microchips, like uh, micro silicon chips, and processor is nothing but uh, which which is something uh, which processes the information or data. So microcomputers, microprocessor acts as a heart of the computer system. It usually consists of ALU, arithmetic and logical unit, control unit, and some registers. So ALU is responsible for, for processing the data. It processes, it performs arithmetic and logical operations. Control unit is used to perform, it used to give some control signals. And uh, registers are used for holding data temporarily. So microprocessor is nothing but the CPU central processing unit on a single integrated chip and in that CPU it has ALU, CU and registers. And what about memory and other input output components? So to make a system we have to connect all those components externally to the microprocessor. So it is same as the motherboard. On the motherboard, there, at the center, there is a CPU processor, and to the processor, other components are attached external, like hard disk, then fan, then any other extra card, extension card. All those components are attached. So let's say, suppose if you take an example of a 8086. So 8086 is the processor, but suppose if you want 8086 to have a port capability, you need to attach 8255 to it. If you want 8086 to have a timing capability, or it, it should have some timers or counter, you need to interface 8253. If you want a microprocessor, 8086 wants to have an interrupt controller, interrupt handling capability. You need to interface 8259 interrupt controller, same as a DMA controller is, need, is needed to be interfaced with microprocessor. So basically, it gives various functionality, various capability and flexibility to the microprocessor which is ultimately making microcomputer system. In the microprocessor uh, is used in intensive processing. It is used where intensive processing is required. Okay. Like uh, video editing, mobile games, or video games, uh, in software development. So in, in such area, microprocessor is used. Again, the microprocessor is a memory, it performs memory based operations. Microprocessor is having less number of registers. So all the data which is required, which is fetched, is from the memory, which is externally connected to the microcontroller, microprocessor. So microprocessor would be having external RAM or ROM from which data and programs are fetched. So all the operations are memory based operations. The application of microprocessor, it is primarily used for personal computer and uh, it is not having any general purpose application. It depends on the user who is operating that machine. So it depends on the user to what application uh, the microprocessor would be used. On the other hand, microcontroller is the heart of the embedded system. 
to make a complete microcomputer system, the only microprocessor is not sufficient. We, uh, we have already seen we have to add other peripherals like a read only memory, RAM, read and write memory, decoder, drivers, number of input output devices and which make whole system, which makes whole compute, microcomputer system. But as you can see in a diagram of a microcontroller, on a single chip there is a CPU, RAM, ROM, IO, timer, serial port and any and any other functionality which is embedded on a single chip. Everything is fabricated on a single chip. So with, when you compare microcontroller with microprocessor, in the microprocessor there is only a CPU which consists of ALU, CU and some resistors. Whereas uh, when you think about the microcontroller, it is having CPU, RAM, ROM, IO, timer, serial port on the same IC so which makes it system on chip or a computer on chip. Microcontroller is having many registers and that's why all these operations are the register space. Data is fetched from the registers. Mm. Pins again the, the pins of the microcontroller are multifunction because everything is fabricated on a single chip. So to perform or to perform additional tasks with a limited number of pins, the pins are dual function. So the microcontroller is the name of two words, micro and controller. Micro is, uh, it is fabricated on a micro silicon chips and controller means it is used to control the operations of a machine using a fixed program. So microcontroller is having an internal ROM and internal RAM. The program which is uh, written for a specific machine is permanently stored in that ROM and uh, the CPU it, it fetches all these programs and data and accordingly it controls the machine. The program which is stored in the ROM does not change over the lifetime of the system. It is used for specific application only and accordingly the program is permanently stored in a ROM. For example, we have seen washing machine. So washing machine is having motor, LEDs, some display, some control buttons. So obviously to control everything, there is a microcontroller inside it. So the job of the microcontroller is to control the movement of the motor display. It is sensing the uh, buttons, control buttons. It is uh, giving display on a 7 segment LCD or LED. So all these perform, all this performance is controlled by the microcontroller which is which resides in it. And those operations are never changed. You cannot change the operations or the programs which are written into the ROM of that microcontroller. The example of microcontroller are 8051 PIC 16X family. So in next video onwards, we will be learning about the 8051 microcontroller. So stay tuned and do subscribe this channel if you like the video.